are messing up this M3. Yes, we are. Welcome back to Shop Life. You guys are probably wondering what am I doing with this drop cloth with this brand new, well, it's not brand new, but it is brand new to us, F80 M3. Um, we are actually going to be driving it back to California in about a couple of days from here. We're in North Carolina right now, um, and we're just going to auto flex the entire front of the car. So a lot of people don't know what auto flex is. It's, pla it's plastic dip for the most part. I'm sure everybody knows what plastic dip is. It's just like that, but it is a clear coating um, and it's actually high gloss. So it looks just like clear coat. You're supposed to spray it out of like an HBLP gun, like a normal car paint. Um, but they do have it in aerosol cans. So this, what we're gonna be using is called Spray Shield. Um, and then we're also doing the Autoflex top coat on it, which is high gloss. And it's just completely clear. It might have like a little bit of a film to it, but it's just pretty much like an invisible bra. So instead of doing an invisible bra where you have to cut everything out, make sure you know you don't cut the paint or anything like that, this you just spray on and it still peels off at the end of the day. And so. we never, we have never tried this. Oh, it's yeah. our first time. Yes. And especially with the aerosols. I mean, if it was with a normal spray gun, I know I can get a really good result. But with the aerosols, I'm not exactly sure. But luckily we can peel it off. So once we get back, if it didn't turn out that well, we'll be able to just peel it off, peel all the bugs that we kill off with it. And hopefully we don't have any rock chips. But for now, we're just gonna start masking everywhere where, everywhere where we don't want the Autoflex to go. So this whole engine bay, we're gonna mask it with this drop cloth, tape it to wherever edges we don't want to touch. Even the windshield, we're gonna tape all that off. Let's do it. So we're making the solution to clean right, the front. See, you see ya, thank you very much. Okay. Wiping it all clean. So now we're finally about to do this auto flex stuff on the car. We got everything wiped down with the 5050 IPA, which is isopropyl alcohol. That's just to get any of the chemicals on there, any wax that was on there, we just pulled all that off as well as any dirt. So now that that's done, we've got a couple of products. Uh, the way I'm doing it, it doesn't have to be done this way. You can do it another way if you'd like. But what the recommended way to do it is two good coats of hydro primer. Then you want about eight to 10 coats of the spray shield. Uh, base coat or it could be spray wrap whatever color you're using where it's doing completely clear and then finally you want that top coat which is the really you know glossy top coat and you want two coats of that so we're going to do about two or three very very like dust coats with the high build primer and then we're going to do two good coats one medium one wet of the high build primer across everything 
We're gonna let about five minutes between each coat to let it dust off um, to get it you know, nice and dry, but not all the way so it still sticks. After that's done, we're gonna wait another five to 10 minutes after the high primer primer's done. Then we're gonna go with the spray shield. So the spray shield, all of these products are completely clear. The spray shield, we're gonna do the base coat. We're gonna do a couple of light dust coats first. And then we're gonna go eight to 10 full wet, medium wet coats around the whole section that we're spraying. Then we're gonna let that dry off about five minutes between each coat. And the final coat, we're gonna let it dry off about five to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna go at it with the Autoflex High Gloss Top Coat. And this one, we just gotta do one medium wet coat first and then one really full wet coat. And if I still have some product left over, I might do a third coat at the end. But yeah, that's the whole process. We're gonna make sure we let enough time between each. It's pretty warm outside. The humid humidity level is kind of high too. Hopefully it's not too bad. But like I said, we're doing this mainly for the road trip to California. If it does last, and if it looks really good by the time we get there, we might leave it on. Otherwise, we're just gonna peel it off. So you guys will get to see it, you know, peel off and see how it does and how it holds up. You gotta go back the other way, bro. You gotta overlap, 25%. There you go, just like that. Let go, you gotta let go of the sprayer each time you're about to end. What the, what are you saying? We are messing up this M3. Yes, we are. It peel off. It better peel off, otherwise we're fucked. All right, here goes the super high gloss. So it's the next day. We finished all the Autoflex stuff last night. Um, it did take quite a while to you know, get everything done with the masking and all that. There's quite a few things that I would like to change if I were to do it again, especially with the cans. So first things first, whenever you're using the cans, it is a lot harder to get, or not, get out enough material at enough pressure. So it's kind of hard to spray. It's kind of harder to get a good thick layer on. So if you're gonna be using the cans, I highly suggest you, I mean, if you're just gonna be doing like headlights, or your side mirrors or just the front bumper, that's okay. Whenever you start getting to the hood or any other big surface like that, it's very, very hard to get a good even coating around. And especially with the, you know, the cans, they are very inconsistent. Uh, even if you change the tips, they're still inconsistent. So it's just a lot more difficult to do it. Because of that, I've got quite a few areas where, you know, I didn't really do a really good job on. So like towards the middle of the hood, wherever the hood scoop is, or the hood bump, whatever you want to call it, that area, also parts of the fenders. And then also, when you're masking stuff off, when you're taping, make sure you use a really good quality tape with a good quality drop cloth. In the middle of me spraying, some of the tape started peeling off, the actual drop cloth started separating, so it started letting some of the overspray go into the door. And then the last thing that I had the biggest issue with was the amount of overspray. So even though it's coming out of a can, there's still a lot of fumes, a lot of you know that product in the air. So you wanna be in a very well ventilated area. And all of this stuff, mostly everything is told to you by the, you know, the producer of the products, um, which you know, most people don't choose to follow like I didn't follow. And it's just, you know, it's my fault. The product itself, in the areas where I was able to do it properly, it came out amazing. It went well beyond my expectations. But you know, there's a lot of stuff that you wanna make sure you're doing while you're, before you spray everything. So it's all in the prep, like they always say. But anyways, here's a quick look at it. 
as you can see, I mean, it looks pretty spot on. I even did the whole uh, headlights and you can see how clear it came out. Um, and I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, hopefully it stays that way, but we'll test it out and... Oh yeah, and I mean, we're driving all the way to California. And that's the main reason, like even though it didn't come out that great, we just don't want to, you know, have a lot of issues with the car uh, as far as rock chips and stuff on the way there. So we'll see how it holds up. Even if it, you know, prevents a few things, that's still better than nothing at the end of the day. Yes, it was a couple hundred bucks in product, but in the long run, it's still cheaper than, you know, repaying the front end. And for us, that's more of just having a peace of mind, especially we just got the car. You know, we don't want to have all these rock chips and all that. And when we get there, we'll see how easy it is to clean as well with all the bugs that we're going to kill. So yeah, I mean, let's just take a quick look. This side came out really well because it was more uh, lit up. I had better lighting on here and I also had more space. And then another thing you want to do is if you have some areas taped off, make sure you take the tape off of that, just that one area while it is still wet. Alright, let's start unmasking. Oh dang. Oh dang. Yeah, it didn't it get it got all overspray. Yeah. Hopefully it comes off. Why wouldn't it, boy? Because there's no other coats underneath. I was peeling off the tape, and since we didn't take off the tape while it was still wet, this happened. No, you didn't. <laughs> this happened right here. As you can see, it started to peel off. But yeah, I guess that's that's how it looks like when you're trying to peel it off. But like I said, this is temporary, so it'll be fine. At least it does peel off. What was that, the mirror? No, yeah, come look. Oh yeah, I did the same thing on the other side. I said mine's a little worse. Oh my god, you did it worse than me. I know. But yeah, that's how thick it is. Alright, so let's go see it in the sun. It's the first start of the day, it's a cold start, so you guys get some exhaust action too. Looks really good. I really love how it came out. Obviously, it's not perfect. Uh, I didn't expect it to be perfect, especially out of the aerosol cans, but it is a lot better than having no protection at all. Or the invisible bra, unless it's laser cut, there's chances that you know whoever's installing it, it might nick uh, with the blade or whatever. They might scratch your paint somewhere or anything like that, which I really don't didn't want that to happen. So this actually works out really well, and you can get it on anything you want without having to worry about you know getting all the bubbles out and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, I know next time I'm going to do it, I am going to do it with the HVLP gun. So hopefully we'll just be able to buy it as a gallon and just do that once we're back at the shop. But for now, this should do. We'll see how it holds up on the road trip back. Uh, well, by the time this video is up, we should probably already be back. And we'll be working on that video on just showing how it held up and peeling everything off. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. 
Make sure you go check out my main channel at Shop Life TV, and make sure you go check out Selena's channel at BMW Selena, and go follow us on all the social media. Thanks for watching. No beamer when I pull in the sun. Change on me just like Polo to Don. Know me fronting, girl, you know I'm the one. I'm two is not an option, and they know they can't stop me. Take off, take off, I can't take no breaks off. I've been working.